Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world and boy does it add to the occasion. Russia have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So it's away we go then. Forward it goes. Now a chance to break. Chirkov. Jikia. Golovin. Juba. Lays it out to the flank. Gets wrestled off the ball. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. He's got away. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. Delaney brings the ball forward. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Hoiberg. Pass. On the side, especially adventurous early on. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. And it's played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. There's a long ball. He hits it. And Denmark score first. Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, Peter, from the moment it left his foot, it looked unstoppable. That was thumped. Denmark take the lead. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. 
Golovin tried to play it through. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Dinks one in. Here it comes. Referee has just said play on. Leaves it out of harm's way. Poulsen. Looking to get within range. Hoists it forward. Delaney. He's got options out wide. Gorgeous control there. Looking for a decent ball in. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Jikia. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Tries lifting it over. Has a hit! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Ziuba is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Golovin, who's short. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Vass. Vass hurtling down that right flank. And helps available out wide. Hefty, and the shot! Oh, he's got that all wrong, and it's a penalty. Denmark presented with a golden opportunity here. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. To increase the lead. A time for a cool head, and that is precisely what he showed. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. Denmark grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. A buccaneering run from the defender. Now it's Shirkov. Up to meet it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Ziuba certainly rose so well there. I fancied him to put that away, too. Delaney. Just brushed off the ball there. Juba. And it's got through. Golovin. Good challenge. Excellent challenge. Christensen knocks it away.
He's on a charge, but he's on his own for now. And that'll be the final action of the first half. Well, Peter, I think the score is a fair reflection of what we've witnessed so far, and that being good movement in, in both midfield and indeed up front. If those players, I think, can carry on where they left off after the break, they should impose themselves even more, and probably only one result coming here. Denmark ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. So both teams emerge the same as they were before the break. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Gets the better of his man. Shoots! Yes! And they are pulling clear here. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Golovin. And that's put paid to a promising move. Balls out on the left now. Tries a header! Just needed better contact. He's got options out wide. Oh, that is lovely footwork. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Thus. Goalkeeper's ball. And the through ball is intercepted. He goes long. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, he's obviously been identified as a menace and they're dealing with him accordingly. I think we can expect more of the same. Delaney. Golovin. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Balls come loose, and the chase is on. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Well, I'm a believer in having faith in your ability, but he's overdone it then. Hoiberg already, of course, on the score sheet. Question, that's a foul. Chirkov. Across the field it goes. And it's Zhirkov. Tries to dink it in. Zhirkov looking to run onto it. Has a pop! That is a class 
last save, he had to be at his best. Golovin with the short one, aimed in towards the centre, cleared away, chance! Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Oh, some tackle that. Another throw in. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out muscled. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. This is the perfect opportunity to create a cushion between the sides. Vass, ready to try one. Vass! Oh, good stop, it had to be. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Chirkov. Jikia gets into a dangerous position, cuts it out. Hoists it high. A real chance if he can get through. Now, surely. Now it's Chirkov. Has a hit! Oh, the keeper's done just about enough. And time is up. Denmark, a class apart. Opponents torn apart. They are comprehensive winners. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Denmark can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job well done. They have a togetherness that makes them very hard to beat.